18, but when I was meeting him at prison visiting hours, he was like 30. And then he is escaping and abduct me. And then I is find out he is a suicide bomber, and now he is blowed up. How about you? Oh, nothing really. I just stayed in. Uh, is there a reserved seating? I have a ticket, but it doesn't seem to have a number. You can sit with us if you like. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way, bitch! This is the black motherfucking seat. You need to upgrade to even get on the waiting list. Plum. <laughs> Who wants to know what's in my bag? Is it a severed head? No, not today. Natella, you have a guess. Hmm. Has your mum had another baby? Yes! Natella is winning the guess game. <laughs> She's got to stop having babies. Oh, Natella? Not having babies is for gays. Anyway, she hasn't had one for ages. She had one nine months ago. Yeah, which is ages. And she promised not to have another one until she's at least 25. Why have you got it? Picked up the wrong bag, innit? Hmm. Whoops. So now I ain't got no lunch. Mm, that bites. For real? Sex. Sex is not a rude word. Intercourse is not a rude word. Fuck is not a rude word. <laughs> Here. Here. <laughs> Sex. Wicked. I'm always keen to pick up tips. It's always some day or other at this school. Today is sex education day. Yesterday was Monday. Let's take the day off, man. You always want to take the day off, Keisha. You're trapped in a vicious circle. Not interested in school because you can't read. Can't read because you're not interested in school. I can't read the teller because I have attention deficit syndrome. What's that? What's what? Oh. Teacher's coming. Teacher's coming. Don't let her see the baby. Distract her. <laughs> Mrs. Jackson, have you done something with your hair? Uh, no. Well, perhaps you should. It's a disgrace. Right. This is Tamsin, everybody. In their wisdom, her parents have decided to broaden her social awareness by forcing her to leave public school and mix with poorer, more violent children. Like that girl last year, Rainbow Harvest? Yes, God rest her tiny soul. Mm. I'm sure I can help drag the school up the league tables. Would you mind showing her round? <coughs> I don't think so. Nutella, what would your parents say if they knew you were being so uncooperative? They wouldn't say anything. They'd stab me, and then they'd make me marry my cousin. I'm sorry. It's not like me to be culturally insensitive since my course. What's in it for us, bitch? Mrs Jackson, <sighs> your reward is the knowledge that you've helped a lonely, frightened little girl to feel wanted and secure. Look, I know you think it's a bit of a drag having to hang out with a new kid, so... I bought a little something to help you guys bond with each other. Hmm. Ah, your problem now! <laughs> yes. I see you have a baby in a bag. My mother warned me this would probably happen. I suspect you're all on crack, too. <laughs> Lucky guess. Ladies and gents, now come stereo digital video cameras. It's cost 100 squids at Selfridge. Okay, hands in the air. Oh, you has got a good price. Last you forever, this will. And don't blame me when it's break. Okay. Item 54 is sex education day. And this lady is not a wrestler. She is sex education teacher. It seems unlikely, I know. Look at her. Her name is Miss Hutchinson. Miss, no missus. <laughs> Who is surprised? Anyhow, I just call her the mighty sumo. Take it away, babe. Thank you, headmaster. <laughs> now, I'll be in school all day today, and I've brought a friend along with me. <laughs> Designed to really show these kids what the reality of having a baby is. It cries. <coughs> <laughs> it wets itself <laughs> and basically does everything a real baby does. <laughs> oh, oh, could I hold it? You leave my baby alone. <gasps> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the baby. I hate handcuffs. I get enough of this at weekends. I didn't even know your mum was pregnant. Neither did she. Where did she have it? Oh, don't. I don't even want to think about it. The bouncers went mental. 
What's it called? I don't know yet. She's waiting to see what name suits it. It looks like that fat man from history with the cigar. Bill Clinton? That's the bitch. Hmm, you're clever. I know. I'm middle class. I think you'll find me invaluable. Bill Clinton, why is you so stressed out? I think he wants something. He wants abandoning. Let's dump him outside quick save. No, Keisha. Monique left her baby there. It was found and raised by shelf stackers. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello. Could you tell me where the tea is, please? <laughs> no one leaves their babies in supermarkets anymore. All the latest sociological studies agree that children need a warm, nurturing environment in which to be abandoned. That's the sort of thing I normally say. Maybe Bill Clinton is hungry. What do babies eat? KFC? Latrina, I don't think you're the correct person to be taking responsibility for a tiny infant. <laughs> you thought like that, Teller, but even cleverer. Cleverer? I, I, mean, I mean, less cleverer. Like you, but less cleverer. Look, Latrina, this is a school. If you have a problem, you should get help from a teacher. Yeah, I could go and see Mr. Bibby. That's the bitch. He's the deputy Ed. He's there to help you. And he's the one that knocked up my mum in the first place. <laughs> Sweetheart. Oh, have you missed your mummy? Oh, you got a hungry tum tum. Ah, uh, you're on in five minutes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sir? Hmm. I've got something that belongs to you. Finally, my credit cards. Not your credit cards, sir, but something I hope you will love as much. Your baby! Mm. So seriously, you don't have my credit cards? No. Right. I definitely had them when I left the house. Hmm. Curse parents' evening. She can't look after him, sir! Neither can I. I'm not a real man, Latrina. I'm a geography teacher. You've defiled my mum and abandoned her baby, sir. Ah! Now, if you'll excuse me, Oxbow Lakes are not going to teach themselves. Hmm. Morning, Roger. The Lord has blessed us with another beautiful day. Thank you, Lord. That's OK, Gavin. Ah, oh, Gavin, you must remind me to nail you to a cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Martin, I simply must have a baby. Darling, I'm trying. I really am. But it's not as easy as that. Adoption agencies are very fussy these days. We don't have a history of drug abuse, and we're not on the local authority's housing list. Sorry, Carol, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation about adoption, mainly because you were talking so loudly and also because I was eavesdropping. Oh. Right? I didn't realise you two had a problem with them. <laughs> oh, it's not a fertility problem. <laughs> We're both incredibly fecund. Martin has the highest sperm count in Bromwell. I produce mugfuls of the stuff every day. <laughs> There's some now. <laughs> if you're quiet, you can sometimes hear it. I see. So, why no kids? Mutual physical disgust, I imagine. No, we just feel that with so many couples unable to have children, it would be insensitive for us to have a child in the so-called normal way. And there are so many Eastern European orphans that need good homes, with their big staring eyes and their sticky out ribs. And it's the damned spermless who get first choice! Ugh! Uh, oh, can someone get me a mug? <laughs> All right, there, have you got him? Oh, that's it. Now pass him along. That's right, you'll all get a go. I know he's gorgeous, isn't he? <laughs> now, any questions? My name is Latrina, and I have a question for the fat bitch. Latrina, it's the fat lady. Oh, sorry, miss. Fat lady, here's my question. Why are you so fat? <laughs> <laughs> questions about sex, please. Oh, Nutella? Please excuse my friend's clumsiness. May I ask a question of a more pertinent sexual nature? Oh, thank God for the Asians. Go ahead, Nutella. Um, Miss Hutchinson, during the act of sexual intercourse, have you ever crushed a man to death? <laughs> <laughs> well, answer the question. I'm not answering that. <laughs> well done, Nutella. You stumped the experts again. 
Miss! Miss! Ah, uh, Keisha Marie slash Tamsin, do you have a simpler question for the fat lady? Indeed I do, miss. Big fat lady, tell me this. As you got a baby? Well, as it happens... By which I mean, have you ever done it with a man? Well, it's... Because I can't see it. You're too fat! <laughs> well, you got to answer one of them. No, I don't have a child. And I'll tell you why. I choose not to bring another life into this world, another slab of flesh and bone to walk the world in ignorance and fear. In short, it's looking at people like you, girl, with your hurtful questions and your prejudices that have led me never to have a child. Ooh. And it's nothing to do with malfunctioning ovaries, which the GP failed to notice until it was too late. Thank you. Prompting the only man I ever loved to leave me. Leaving me to gorge myself on chocolate to fill the emptiness I felt inside. <laughs> Crying myself to sleep until I was so fat the double bed no longer felt too big without him. <laughs> Just to reiterate, that last bit was not the reason. <laughs> With the top bed! 20 seconds till the end of the auction! Oh. Hmm. Is school business, yes? They're buying a baby on eBay. Huh. They better be. $1,874! Oh, that's cheap! He's only got one arm. Oh, not mint. Come on, <gasps> come on! Oh, we're gonna win! We're gonna win! Come to Papa, one arm oh. baby! Five seconds! <laughs> Four, three, two, one! <laughs> no! Oh, not again! <laughs> Out bit of the last <laughs> cocking second! Probably buy a gypsy with a computer, I don't know, bloody oh, fucking God. cocks! No. Fucking cocks! <laughs> Shit my cocking luck! A real man would steal a baby for me. <laughs> oh, somebody sold me a baby! <laughs> uh, fat lady, can you get pregnant by sitting on the toilet? No, <laughs> you can't get pregnant by sitting on a toilet. Not even if there's already someone sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. Yes, a bit too slow, weren't you? Not used to clever competition, perhaps. <laughs> hmm. Latrina, pass the bitch on. You've got the real thing in your bag. I think this will be our much better little brother. It's shiny, it doesn't cry, and its head is easily detachable. OK, class, where's my baby? Uh, the baby. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Keisha, Miss Hutchinson's unconscious. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, let's fight I like Cox on her face. Right. Clearly you want. I meant the old switcheroo. Give Latrina a baby her mum can look after for a change. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Tamsin. Great idea. Why didn't you think of that, Nutella? Um... Yeah, what exactly is we pay you for? So that's it, is it? You like Tamsin more than you like me? Yeah, definitely. Who wouldn't? Tamsin is my favourite. Then Keisha. Then you. But it was going to be my idea. Whatever. Oh, 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 what happened? You had a diabetic episode, but everything's fine now. I'm not diabetic. Oh, I'm sorry. You're fat, you fainted, I just assumed. The baby's <laughs> all better now, miss. I've repaired the bitch. Well, just be careful with it now, girls. Yes, miss. <laughs> Is this a game? Yeah, it's called Locker Boxing. I see. In which we put the most unpopular girl in school in a locker, which we then proceeds to bash into little bits with our bare hands. Don't you even know that? Are you ready, Kylie? Ready. Might I make a suggestion? What's the matter? Didn't they have bullying at your old school? No, it's just if you were to use, say, hockey sticks instead of bare fists, you could do a great deal more damage whilst also being much kinder on your hands. If I might be so bold, we could call it Locker Hockey. Locker Hockey. That's wicked! <laughs> Behold! I cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see me, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of me. I am Alpha and Omega! Yeah, take that, you little bitch! Latrina! <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me stop you, girls. I just want a moment alone with Latrina. Hockey sticks, nice touch. Oh. Now, Latrina, where's that lovely bouncing baby boy of mine? It's in the bag, 
Sir, I've decided that I love it. I wonder if I might have it. I would, sir. Only... I'm in rather a hurry, I'm afraid. But you don't understand. I'm in a hurry. Why do you keep it I up? I can't stand around. It's just that something has happened about the baby that will affect you and any actions you are about to take. But every time I try to tell you about it, before I can get to the end of my sentence, you interrupt. No oh, time to listen. Sorry. Oh. I thought I'd switched you off. I just want to say thank you. You have given us all a good laugh with your lesson and with your big wobbly tummy. <laughs> well, sex education is very important. Not to me, I'll just stick it in. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Comes in, I think this might be a bit mean. She likes it. I don't, you bitch! She doesn't. Because she's upside down, everything she says is opposite. No, it isn't! You see? <laughs> All right, everyone. All right, that's enough. Calm down. Tamsin, are you settling in okay? Oh, yes, thank you. Mm. Everyone's been very helpful. Well, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Of course. Mm. What is up with you two? You look like you're just eating a shit sandwich. I thought Ooh. I was the cleverest. I thought it was Marmite. You were just jealous of Tamsin because she's brainy and she's good at bullying. I think she's sweet and funny and solid. What's up, Lady Penelope? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I is hate her stinking guts. Mm. <clears throat> What's that, Roger? What? This? Oh, just an orphaned Romanian baby. <gasps> Where did you get it? An orphanage in Romania. Um, what are you going to do with it? Well, quite. I'm in something of a quandary. It's just, we've been thinking about getting a Romanian baby. Would you consider selling? Hmm. Sell the baby? What an intriguing idea. <gasps> now, hang on, Carol. There are ethical questions involved here. Shut up, Martin. Oh, Martin, don't tell me you don't agree with non-eBay baby selling. Would you like to hold it, Carol? <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, this feels like the most natural, beautiful thing in the world. Let's buy it. Give you a thousand pounds. Fifteen hundred. Twelve hundred? It's a nice baby. Very shiny. Fifteen hundred, then. Two thousand. Oh, this is outrageous. You are a monster. No, Martin. I'm a geography teacher. <laughs> oh, the poor darling's crying. What should we do? We'll work it out. Children don't come with an instruction manual, Martin. <laughs> I'm bored. Let's bounce. We bounce when I say... <laughs> <clears throat> At least to ditch the chicken heads. Yes. I don't need you anymore. You can go. See you, losers. Good. We wanted to be shot of her from the beginning. And now we is. I'm glad. Tamsin are successfully adapted to a new environment, and we helped to do that. Her parents might not be very impressed with the result, but she's gaining self-confidence, and that will stand her in good stead for the rest of her life. Right, wicked. So what if she's cleverer? Or better at fighting, or more attractive. We're not defined by our roles, and we still have each other, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Believe it, lady. And there's always going to be someone out there who's better than you. Mm. Keisha, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Let's tear the bitches out out and feed it to the squirrels. I was actually thinking of calling her parents, but that's almost the same thing. <laughs> There's something wrong with this baby you sold us. Oh, oh. What? oh, by baby, he means Vauxhall Cavalier. Martin, Carol, you're first-time parents. You have to realise that not every little sniffle the baby has is cause for concern. They're surprisingly resilient little creatures. Her hands keep coming off. Well, I'm no paediatrician, despite what the graffiti says. But this may be perfectly normal. My sister's baby's hands never come off. Now, just because your baby's hands come off and hers don't, you shouldn't feel that your child is in some way different or abnormal. 
These little quirks are what make her special. But she cries all the time. Surely not all the time. Well, whenever we push that button on our back. So don't push it. I told you not to push it. Give her head more support. <gasps> we don't want that coming off again. Um, mm. <gasps> Martin, what did I just say oh. to you? Hey, what's the problem, little one? You know, I remember when my little one was this age. Every day is a developmental milestone. Really? Yeah. Has she found her hands yet? No, they're in my pocket. <gasps> well, my parents are coming to take me out of the school. I hope you're happy. Yes, I'm pleased. Me too. Suck on it, lady. Hmm. You know I won't be coming back. Boo-hoo. The two of us were going to drag this school kicking and screaming up the league tables. I thought that's what you wanted. Yes, I think I can drag it by myself, thank you. You can't bear not being the cleverest, can you? Oh, I wouldn't know. It's never happened. One last chance, Nutella. Would you really rather be the cleverest girl in a terrible school? Or could you handle being second best in a great school? Oh, oh please let me stay, Mummy. You can't take me away from my new friends. They're my best friends in the whole wide world. I'm afraid we must, darling. All you're doing here is learning about drugs, bullying and underage sex. If we wanted you to learn about that, we'd have paid to send you to a private school. <laughs> no! You're the cleverest, Nutella. Thanks, Latrina. And we did good too. Yes, Keisha. We all did good. But I'm the cleverest. <laughs> Don't use the baby to drive a wedge between us. You've been looking for an excuse to leave ever since you cheated on me that time. Using a prostitute is not cheating! Martin, the school dinner lady is not a prostitute. Oh, then why did she charge me 200 quid? Oh, my little poppet. You're just like the real thing. Oh, there, there. Got a bit of windy pops. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm sending you back to Japan. <laughs> 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 <laughs>